in June. Um, and so, yeah, there's been craziness with dreams as well. I had one last night, but I think it's a bit too out there, a bit in the future. But uh, Sandra had one that she'd like to share with you. Yeah, it's this dream, right? Um, so it was the 4th of July. Um, and me and Jimmy lived in a caravan. And this caravan was quite small. It was literally like living in a really small bed sit, you know, and it's just literally everything you could see was in this van. The bed was there, that was there and everything. So I was looking after a little girl that was about three or four this blonde girl, and I had someone's baby, it was a little boy, that was um, five weeks old. And people that know me, I've got over my fear of spiders, which was something that was learned off me from my mum, where she was petrified. So I've gotten over this fear of spiders. Well, in this dream, I had probably big hairy brown spiders, coming down off the ceiling. <clears throat> Actually, I will add that I've had that happen with all little spiders lately, haven't I? I don't know how long I've been down, it? Uh, a good few weeks now, I've had like, these spiders coming down wherever I've been. Yeah, in the physical. So these ones, yeah. So these ones were proper, like, spiders, like this big, brown and hairy, even bigger, coming down, right? So, um, have a look, because I've written it down. Um, Sorry. So what happened? Yeah, the spiders just kept coming and coming. And I thought, oh, do you know what? I'll wait till Jimmy gets in. He can get rid of them for me. <laughs> Even though they weren't really bothering me. Well, the next thing I know, my mum had turned up at the caravan. And I let her in. And all of a sudden, all her fears, I'm not really sure what she's like with spiders now, to be honest. All her fears come back. And she's screaming because these spiders were just getting worse and worse. So the more she's screaming, there was just oh, spiders yeah. everywhere. And it, yeah, and it still weren't really bothering me. I just kept covering them with blankets, <laughs> going around covering them up. And this baby boy could talk perfectly. But it weren't weird in the dream or anything. It was just, I was just so proud of him because he had such a good vocabulary. <laughs> it was just really weird. Then I think I woke up but I will check the notes. So I don't know what's going on there, whether it's something like what we were saying where deep-rooted things are coming up. Yeah. And I did start getting a little bit scared before I woke up. I did actually wake up sweating, but then I know it was hot as well. I think it was anyway. <laughs> but yeah, so I don't know whether this is another one that's coming up, some deep-rooted thing. Well, we're so anyone watching this um, interprets dreams? <laughs> But it was just, I don't think there's anything else. I really can't find the um, notes in there. I think that was it, though, really. But spiders in dreams. Yeah, there's more and more. I was going to say spiders Yeah, that's it. Dreams. That's all it was. Sorry. So, so spiders, would you say? Just spiders in dreams are supposed to be quite um, a positive thing. Well, there was just, like, the more the mum was screaming, the more and more they was coming down, and then there was, like, coming through windows and just everything. So it was actually, I mean, if I'd had that dream years ago, I would have, I don't know, I would have been absolutely, I don't know what I'd have done, be screaming. But because it didn't bother me that much, but it was like she was bringing it up again for me. And I thought, and when I woke up, I thought, well, that was, the start of it was really strange, this five-week-old five boy yeah. was just speaking perfectly. And my mum was like, why is he talking? You know, everything was like, yeah, but these spiders, they just kept coming and coming. I thought, in a minute, I won't be able to fit in here with them all. There were so many, but those are really big, brown, hairy ones, you know, like what would give people nightmares normally. But the strangest thing is, like, as you said, like when your mum come in and she's bringing in and she's making them encouraging more and more, maybe something is yeah. coming up in your mum that needs to be released or as she's coming yeah. to you in your dream. Maybe there's a, something that we can assist with. Yeah, so definitely. Probably, probably Did you know when journey. you wake up and you think, hmm? Probably a journey or healing treatment for her. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So, yeah. I've got this little intro. Basically, I said uh, before, um, 
on our um, YouTube channel, there's a sovereign being affirmation stroke meditation that people can do. And I'm just going to read you a paragraph. And it starts off with, I dissolve all limited agreements and rules. I no longer play the blinding game of limitation. I am a free sovereign being. I own my power. I own my light. I am light. I am love. I am freedom. My heart is fluid, expansive light. My heart expanding beyond all blindingness. I dissolve anything binding my heart to conflict or drama, limitation in any form. Love does not seek to blind another. I release all bindingness from my blood family, my soul family, and I grant my heart the gift of freedom. I release all old energies within my heart that generates any scene of limitation. I am a free sovereign being. I own my power. I own my light. So I just thought I'd share that with you, but there's a full, as I said on YouTube, there's a full spill of that. It goes through your chakras, energy centers, and it's about, yeah, just standing in your ground, being positive, and don't try not to listen to any media because they just want to feed you and feed you false light. Yeah, it is hard to avoid it, but it's like. So as long as you stand in your own power and being in the moment, yeah, well, it's like, done. It's like um, partners. It's like, oh, do you see that on a new stay? And it's like, no, I've not actually seen it. Yeah, I actually tell you a bit of it, and it's like, I'm so glad I never see it. <laughs> <laughs> and I would say, for people out there as well that are listening, if you go on to Google or fire, um Firefox web browser, type in uh, Metatron's Cube. Look for one that actually suits you, the color schemes and stuff, and just draw your attention onto that and breathe as you're grounding. Because Metatron is the highest chakra and of yeah. the energy centers, which is the um, I, Stella, Gateway. Stella, Stella Gateway. And also, yeah, if you focus on that, and just breathe in the energies that you feel that you gain from it. You can either, if you feel anything that you feel like you need to write it down, so I would say recommend writing it down, especially with the dreams as well, or even thoughts and feelings. Just write it down on a, if you can on a daily basis, and that way you understand your energy foes. Yeah, because that's another one I was going to do. I think I was going to record a meditation with breathing in it because that helps keep you centred and everything as well and stops the anxiety and everything. Just yeah. some breath work meditations. Excellent. And it's got that. Yeah. It's like where attention goes, energy flows. So what if you, whatever you're drawing your attention to, you're giving it life. You're giving it that, your energy basis. That's it, thoughts create reality doesn't it yeah yeah but as Sandra said we're going to be doing a few more meditations uh we we be doing um a weekly discussions between us two and just hope you enjoyed our spiel stay grounded <laughs> stay safe yeah just don't let anything bother you. <laughs> Stay grounded. Try not to let anything bother you. <laughs> Try. You must. <laughs> <laughs> so until next week, thanks again for tuning in, and we'll speak to you soon. See you on the other yeah, side. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs> bye.